three. Okay, so my goal is to stop the spread and help this thing develop thicker, stronger branches um, and more of them so that eventually it'll be pluckable. So I'm gonna, it, it's, it's been pruned already. Jules, can you see this? So in here at the bottom, you can see one of its early prune sites. And it's been pruned at other times, but maybe not as regularly as I should have. So this is our central stem. And off of that central stem, you can see another prune site right here. We do have some branching. Um, I'm gonna start by taking some of this off the top of the central stem. This, that'll cause these branches to get bigger. A little bit more there. But it's this one, it's stuff like this. I really don't want that much spread of this plant. So I have to decide where to go. You can see a branch coming out here, There's a branch coming out here. So that's all right, but it's a little bit far out. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. So I think I'm gonna go with this one just cause I'm conservative. This is a shoot. Um, it's really common in tea, and it can actually grow thick and um, bushy up at the top if you treat it uh, like a trunk. So I'm gonna cut it back down here and see if I can get it to add to the branching. Here's another. Here's another branch. Um, it's got a little branch coming off here, so I'm gonna take it there. And then, this one is really kind of funky. It's this thin branch. And you've got a branch coming out here. I'm gonna see what happens if I do that. Usually what I end up doing is I start pruning and then I do more pruning. So I'm like, oh, did that, but I should probably go in further. This one, got pruned back here and instead of doing a whole lot of branching it just kept going straight out so I'm gonna I'm gonna take it back to about an equal distance of these other ones right there Ooh, that was a hard one look at this branch and then no, I don't want it to spread again too much, so we've got something coming out this way. You can see kind of the angle that they want to go, and you can see that there was something going on here, but I'm, I'm going to leave them, I'm going to leave a mother leaf here. So you can go down as far as the first true leaf on the branch. And I could probably do that here too. Did I just snip these? No, this must be from last year. So I'm gonna actually just do that to encourage it. This guy I wish would uh, not have aphids, but I don't, I don't think I'm gonna cut all of it off, just a little bit. So there's the aphids. Can you see them close up? Yeah. So an indoor pest. Last one, I have this branch here, I have this branch here. If I do it here, you see this branch on the bottom here? It's gonna head out that way. If I do it here, it'll head out this way. I kinda want more branching up here so that I can reach it. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, baby! So what else do we have? A little bit more here. This is hard. I can see the beginning of a leaf bud here. Can you see that close up? Mm -hmm. So we'll see if that stimulates it. By cutting that off, it'll stimulate that and perhaps this as well. Ooh, that was sticky. I didn't cut this one or I cut a different part of it. Yeah. Guys! So I really think I'm gonna just
already up here let it get some more they're very twiggy up here I'm not, it wouldn't look like this in the greenhouse it's a sign that it hasn't gotten enough nutrition this guy is sticking out here and it just will keep on going if i don't cut it off can you see it from there here. i'm zooming in yeah Whoop. see that one i mm -hmm. do see a branch coming off here and one coming off here i'm going to see what happens if i do that right here and encourage that so, it's not perfect. This branch is going to head down. don't really want that. Hmm. It's all about balance. Well, anyway, I'm not a bonsai artist. I'm going to just see how this looks this year. And uh, come back to it. I need to give it fertilizer now, now that it's spring and water it and I'm going to keep it outside for the most part. I'm going to start in the shade because um, while it's been indoors in the porch, although it gets a lot of light, it's not as much as out here. So start in the shade and then between now and our, you know, whenever real spring comes, every time it gets, you know, below 32 or 30 degrees, I'll bring it back into the porch uh, just overnight. So it likes all this light, it likes the fresh air, and um, so do I. <laughs>